Hello, 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 everyone. It's 5.55. I'm a whole seven minutes early. Um, but I'm sort of excited to play The Sims tonight. I don't think it's going to be a long stream. Um, because we did that yesterday. <laughs> I think it might, it might not even reach a full two hours, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I did want to hop on. I'm excited because today is going to be Tobias and Ernesto's wedding. We gotta plan it. Uh, we gotta make sure it goes down correctly. Um, but I feel like we should have it sooner rather than later so we don't have a repeat of what happened with Connor and Raul, where um, Mochi, who is now an elder, uh, passes away and the family is so sad about it that we cannot have the wedding. <laughs> but the wedding's already planned. So, I think we gotta have it tomorrow. Tomorrow in game is the only option. Um, plus I just want to have Ernesto in the house already. I, f I feel like he's going to be a fun, nice sim. Um, so let's hop into it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm never, I'm never ready for the volume that I have these at. Because I, when I watch YouTube videos and shit, I have to turn them up. And then when I ha fucking play the sims, I gotta turn them way down. <laughs> And I never remember in between. I love when it's the exciting version of this song. Now you load in. Now. <laughs> hey, sort of. When it stops doing the spinning, you know it's like on the way to loading in. There we go. Well, once the music is finished and then like another couple of seconds afterwards, for whatever reason. <laughs> it does the load in music. And then loads in. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Why'd you play the music then? Okay. Lillian is blog style guiding. What? Well, you can instead um update your social media status twice. Cause I don't really know what else to do with you these days. Um, Melody, you've still got to knit some legendary knittables. Oh, you were in the middle of knitting. Tobias is chatting with Kaylin, who's chatting with Tobias. Beautiful. Everyone's needs are all good. You know, yeah. Lillian, once you're done, you can get leftovers and then probably go to sleep. It's 6 p.m.? Awesome. Let's... Oh, I guess we can't just plan a wedding. We have to invite Ernesto over. So let's have Kaylin stop talking to Tobias then. She can... Um, come do her homework. And Tobias can invite Ernesto over. Go, <laughs> Go team. Jennifer's coming over. That's too bad everybody's busy right now. I mean, like... Oh. Tobias is about to propose, and, like, <laughs> Kaylin's still in high school. She's still got some homework. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? Kaylin, you don't gotta do your homework. Come hang out with Jennifer. She should be a BFF. You deserve to hang out with her. And there's Ernesto. So, Tobias, come, um, propose a crazy scheme, because it's only going to get crazier from here. Bazooba! <laughs> 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 
Simba Wong. Danka. Sounds like a pretty crazy scheme, dude. Let's brighten his day. Because he's, um... It's only going to get brighter from here. We can't propose just yet. Oh, because we still feel too guilty? No. For 16 hours. Okay, well... I guess we should invite Tony over as well and tell her <laughs> about kissing Ernesto while Ernesto's here, because why not? What better time to tell her? <laughs> Who's calling Melody? I'm sorry, Jasper. We can't go right now. We've got things to do. Tony will be right over. Beautiful. Okay, you should be hanging out with Jennifer. There's a lot of Sims on the lot right now. For for the fact that I just loaded in like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, you guys can discuss your favorite bands and such. Tobias is gonna um, tell Tony about kissing Ernesto after having broken up with her. Sounds about right. <laughs> Tony. Things to do and feelings to her. It's true. Who's... Knox, why the hell are you shirtless running onto our lot? What? We can't have more Sims here right now. <laughs> we, have, we have some hearts to break right now. I can't deal with you needing bits and pieces. <laughs> and wanting to recycle at my house. Like, go away. <laughs> What does this mean? Friendly? I... What would this be classified under, do you think? Affection? Complaints? Compliments, girl? You are so fine, I just had to kiss Ernesto about it. <laughs> um... Other sims? Oh, telling Tony who to date? Been there. <laughs> um, ask what Tony's problem is. I think I know what her problem is. It's that we we cheated on her and then dumped her. <laughs> not even that's not even putting it lightly. <laughs> Stories, I, potty humor, joke. I don't. How do I let her know? <laughs> Silly behavior. Hey, I've been so silly. I've been kissing all the other men. <laughs> Small talk? I don't... <laughs> where is this? Where... Where... Does it tell me where to do it? Only confessing can alleviate his guilt. Smooth apology? Maybe it's that simple. Lillian's walking outside to judge our lamp, for whatever reason. I don't want to help you with the recyclers right now, Knox, actually. <laughs> hey, sorry for cheating on you. She's feeling playful. I don't think she minds. <laughs> Did that do it? No. Um, hobbies? Hey girl, I've got a hobby of making out with Ernesto behind your back. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Let me do a Google. Um, what have I done from Loyal Sim? What have I done Sims for? Uh, 
Um, let's see. <laughs> Acknowledge cheating. Maybe I can't anymore because I'm not her her um partner. <laughs> you know we're only gonna be sad about it for sixteen hours. I'm sorry, girl. I apologized. You can go home now. We'll just propose tomorrow. <laughs> I would instead like to actually no, still send her home, please. I would instead like to hang out with Ernesto. Whatever, I tried. <laughs> I attempted to apologize. That's what counts in my book. Um, let's compliment his outfit. Ask if he wants to woohoo. <laughs> Can we woohoo? Make out in closet. It feels too guilty. We can kiss him though. We cannot woohoo. We feel too guilty. We can suavely kiss him, which just, it feels silly to me. Too guilty to sweet talk, but I can blow a kiss. <laughs> we can profess our undying love. We could express devotion, probably. I feel like that's, that's, we can do that. I axed out telling her to go home again. Go home. Um, and Lillian's going to nap? No, girl, you can go to bed. If you're going to sleep, go all the way to sleep. I don't want to deal with you. Beautiful. Okay. Also, welcome on in, Oblio. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you if how you're doing this evening. Welcome on in. You should get going, Tony. Goodbye. Oh, Kaylin just put her homework on the floor? Girl. You need that. Did you make a legendary? You did not. But you're feeling very confident, which I feel means that you could probably make one now. Make another of the pink strawberry turtles, because I kind of love that. Jennifer's like cramping our style here. Look at how well they get along. Show off your muscles. You do fitness stuff. He'll like that. Kaylin's gaming while Jennifer's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> I'm glad we're actually kind of friends with our cousin this generation. Like, Callan and Jean, aren't, we aren't really friends with. But, like, Serenity, uh, Tobias talks to every here and there, which is nice. Something I think we got to do probably today before she passes away um, <laughs> is to probably move Cadence into her, her new house. So let's actually go do that right now. Let's just go to Manage Worlds. Because I don't... I don't even think I placed it down in this world. Um, and that can help us slowly fill new crest in this world. Although at some point I'm going to bulldoze the Kelly's house that they put in there because I don't... I don't like that they placed that without my consent. <laughs> the the Willett family, your days are numbered. Um, which lot did I build this on is the real question. A 40 by 30 lot. Don't tell me. No, oh, okay. This one, I think. So right across the street from the park that we just built. Actually, let me... Can I just place it from here? Oh, 
replace lot and edit. Because this is the only 40 by 30. No, there's another 40 by 30. Why do they look different, too? There's a bunch of 40 by 30s. Let's put it here and see how it looks. I don't remember which one I built it on. <laughs> Not in the slightest. facing my bed currently, and um, I'm not getting any of the, the fresh air from it. Okay, you know, I kind of don't hate that. I mean, it does kind of block this tree a little bit, um, but... No, that kind of makes this this neighborhood look really full and nice. Did this place have a fence at one point? I do feel like I built a fence around this, didn't I? Oh no, just around the backyard. I see, I see, I see. Maddie, welcome on in. How you doing this evening? We're currently moving one of our family members into a house that I built a long time ago for her and just never moved her into. <laughs> she's an elder and she's about to die. Um, I feel like it's time that we we move her on in. <laughs> the stream was great yesterday, pretty much the whole way through. It was it was lovely the entire time, which was very nice. I, w I was a tiny bit worried for, for a 10-hour stream that there would be some points where I was like, uh, get it over with but it was it was lovely the entire time so i'm glad oh no worries real life happens sometimes for a 10 hour stream i'm there was only a couple of people that were there like the whole time and even that surprised me <laughs> i would never expect someone to come watch me for 10 hours <laughs> um i think everything looks like it's in place I did not put anything in the hallway of this place. Noted. <laughs> Panda was definitely here the whole time. I think she was lurking for some of it, but I think Oblio was here the whole time. And um, Thea was here for a good long time. He went to sleep at one point, but yeah, everything's perfectly placed. Everything is all good. We can move Cadence into this house. Um, and I like how it looks in this neighborhood. I think that's cute next to the park that we built yesterday. Thanks, Maddie. This is probably, like, my favorite house that I've ever built. There are, now that I'm looking at it again, there are some things that I would probably do a little differently. I would, I, maybe some things didn't get, like, moved over, because I definitely don't think I would just leave an empty shelf like that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I built the park next door yesterday. That was like the first four hours of the stream. I don't know how well you can see it from, from here, but it was nice. This thing is a little bathroom. We have like seating areas over here with food stalls. I don't know if they function. I'm not going to lie, but aesthetically, well, you know, <laughs> that's all that really counts. Um, okay, yeah, let's go to Manage World Zen for a minute. Now that that's... A okay. Because we're going to move um, Cadence and that side of the family into it. And they can fight over the bedrooms. There's two bedrooms, there's four of them. No, there's three bedrooms, there's four of them. And then there's a kid bedroom. So they can fight over who's going to get what. But <laughs> the, the one they're living in right now only has two bedrooms and a kid bedroom. So it, it's a step up. <laughs> No, not visit. I guess... I guess play. <laughs> Cadence in her fucking ski outfit. Like... <laughs> yeah. And then we have to move, I guess? 
I don't know if I put John's house on the gallery at any time. I don't know. There was a little bit when I was building at the beginning where I didn't put everything on there. Like, Butter's house didn't make it on there, which was the first house I ever built. So I went back and I put that on there recently. <laughs> Rafia Quinta. Okay. Um, this was a nice house, too. I will admit. I do like this one. With their... <laughs> this is what um, two of them are sharing right now, probably. Because this is where there's two beds, I guess. Uh, the youngest person in this family is a teen, I think. <laughs> but... You know? Um... Let's take a look, because we'll never actually get to see this again. What, what are their skills? Huh. They've got some logic. They've got some cooking, video gaming. Oh, Cadence has got some skills. Not very much, um, but she's got some. <laughs> I guess she's taken over John's room. I built this custom, like, um, canopy bed. This is just a regular bed, but I built the whole canopy out of debug shit. Um... It's a nice house, but is it on the gallery? That's the real question. I don't think I remember putting this on the gallery. I also don't know if I want to put this on the gallery. Let's just move them. Is that home? Travel. Move household. Oh, you know, maybe I should have split household, and then we could have gotten Kate and somebody to date. Um, and maybe she can have kids and continue this side of the family. We Maybe we can still do that. Let's move them into Cadence's tutor home here. Oh, did I not give them enough money? Hold on a minute. We can, we can mother load the money for them. I don't care whether or not they've earned the right to have this house that they have. <laughs> Their family, I built it for them. They don't, they don't need money. just for good measure. Alright, let's move. <laughs> and actually, this is perfect. Um, now I can split from household and move, maybe? Because I think... Actually, how old is Julia? Oh my god, Julia just turned into an adult. Okay. Um... So let's have Cadence split from household and move. You can like deep thoughts, Gene. That's fine. We're never coming back to this household. So that's, you know, neither here nor there to me. <laughs> Golby is a couch potato. Oh, I love it. Um... Oh, you know what? Yeah, they're going to need to transfer 200,000 to Cadence. Um, and Cadence can take Maggie and Sprinkles, because I think they were um, the more or the, the less recent pets. And I don't want Cadence to be just like alone in the house. Um, 
But are these guys adults at this point? Are they young adults? No, they would be teens, I think. Still. No. I think they were born before Tobias, weren't they? Or around the same time as Tobias. Let's move Julia with Cadence. Actually, no, we'll move we'll move them separate. Twenty thousand dollars, two cadence. Oh I hit the wrong button, I think. I was supposed to move to a house. Actually, no, I didn't hit the wrong button. Okay, we're good. We're fine. To new crest. Cadence's tutor home. Beautiful. You gotta dance through the, the music intros, you know? The music interludes. It's the only way to stay sane. Oh, we get to see how it looks in winter, I guess. Um, Cadence, I'm actually going to have you come visit the park right away. I know you just moved in, so like maybe you're not ready to like <laughs> go somewhere. But let's find you somebody to love. Hopefully there's somebody at the park at 9 o'clock at night who's an elder who Cadence can get with. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they'll have kids. Wait, we can check how long she has left to live, too. What if she only has, like, two days left to live? And I'm, like, trying to get her a husband, finally. <laughs> I would feel so bad for her. Cadence has been around for forever, and I have had the chance for such a long time. Okay, no, she's got some time left. Anybody here? Anybody chilling? At the park? around the park. Somebody's on the swing set. Who's this? Our younger brother. <laughs> That's not going to work for a lover. I'm not going to lie. She's going to go play chess with nobody? Nobody's here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well... It's only 9.51. Let's go back home, I guess. Nobody seems to be here. Why does Cadence have a fear of fire? Maybe, you know what? She was at our house three times while there was a fire. That's probably where she got. No, you know what? She did not come to that celebration where there was two fires. She was, she and Julia were both absent, even though I invited them. So I don't know where she got a fear of fire from. Things be happening in the gay family household even when I'm not in the one the one in control, I guess. <laughs> Alright, Cadence. Um Let's find you somebody. Anybody like walking around on the street right now? Actually. I know we we, we should just came back home. Let's break into somebody's house. Let's find somebody who's an elder and just be like, hey, uh you wanna marry me? And move in with me real quick. <laughs> Let's, um. I wonder if there's anybody rich we can steal some money from. Um. Nobody's catching my eye here. Let's go to Windenburg. I bet you, I think there's some old people in Windenburg. Let's 
Moreno. Oh my god, this guy looks lonely. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven. I wonder if they'll have kids at this age, though. That's kind of the goal of finding her somebody to love. Um, but... Who knows? Gregory Moreno. How is it going? Oh, I forgot. Cadence is evil. <laughs> um, let's reminisce on good times. Ask about his career. Ask about his day. We're gonna see how quickly we can. We are gonna speed run flirting with this man. Compliment his appearance, real quick. You know. We're focused. We can make it happen. We've learned that he's unemployed and he lives alone. Girl, what? <laughs> Now, here's the question. Do we have... We have bad compatibility. Great. Oh. Oh, but we're flirting. It's going all right. Pickup line. Flirt. Hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? He just left? I have to knock on the door? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rude. <coughs> Dude, I was in the middle of flirting with you. Where'd you go in this dumb-looking house? He went to sleep? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen here, Gregory Moreno. Gregory! Gregory! <laughs> oh, he's sleeping in his underwear. Gregory! You sexy. <laughs> now that's an open house. Like a house you would make? Oh, he did not like that. Oh. Okay, fine. We're gonna discuss our evil plans then. Wait, can I? Ooh, hold on a minute. He's turning down my my advances. Um, so let's make a grilled cheese in his house for a second. Let's let's just cook something with our fear of fire and see what happens. Just just curious. <laughs> also, he has this big old house to himself, and he's sleeping in the single bed, like not the double bed. <laughs> <laughs> She's had an awkward encounter. She has a fear of fire. I'm ready to I'm ready to burn the house down. He turned me down. Uh, there's no other there's no other thing that we can do. Hey, okay, we, I guess we'll go here. We'll stop cooking. Don't worry about it. We'll just leave that on the on there. Don't you dare clean that up. No, leave it there. I want to see if I want to see a, a fire start. <laughs> Listen, this is it's not me. It's Cadence is an evil sim. This is what she wants. <laughs> this is Cadence's desires coming out through me. Is it? Will it start a fire like that? If you just leave it like that? Do you think? Well, let's try sleeping. Let's just... We'll get some shut-eye here, I guess. <laughs> this is inappropriate. Please stop. Listen, buddy. You could have had all this. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. I hope your house burns down. 
I, however, am off to find some booty. <laughs> any any old people left in town? <laughs> oh my god, wait a minute. Is that Sophia? <gasps> Hold on a minute. We could have Caden state Blake's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the family drama. I've always felt like Sophia was part of the family, even though she never really was. I, like, kept an eye on her through, through the Managed Worlds map, you know? <laughs> it's the same for, um, Adrian Bita, who yelled at Fabo. I still... He's not part of the family, but I, like, still keep an eye out, you know? For him, it's more hoping he dies, um, but <laughs> for Sophia, it was with positive intentions. <laughs> Sophia, would you like to date? Hello, I don't think we've ever met. Um, I know all about you, though. <laughs> nope, sir, the entire family laughs. <laughs> Girl, you have to marry me now. <laughs> Let's do another heartfelt compliment. Let's ask her about her day. Let's change into our cold weather outfit, probably. Because uh, we're already in our cold weather outfit. Perfect. I don't want to freeze. Ask about her day. Do a deep conversation. Oh, well. <laughs> Compliment her appearance. Maybe. Ask if she's single. You know, for no reason at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh. We've learned she's single. Can we get a pink bar? Can we get a, a pickup line? <gasps> She's feeling flirty now. Oh my god, where are you going? No. No. <laughs> they started feeling flirty and then they immediately booked it away from each other. Lesbians. <laughs> Kiss hands. Confess attraction. Off a rose. Get proposed. Welcome, Ben Co Cozy. How you doing this evening? Work was actually not too bad today. It was just kind of long, um, but not terrible. <laughs> How about you? How was your day? We're currently trying to get Cadence a family. I moved her into her tutor home, and she's gonna, I th think, marry Sophia, which is Blake's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we terrorized some poor random old man in his house and almost burned his house down. Um, but now we're going to marry Sophia. <laughs> Don't browse the web. Go flirt with your girl, your soon-to-be wife. Can we ask her on a date right now? Do you think she'll go for it? We're getting hungry. It's the right time to, you know? Oh my god, 2 a.m. date to the city? Let's do it. San Maishuno. So KS as always, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you know the vibes here on buttersidebrown.twitch.tv. <laughs> no, this started out as I wanted to get Cadence a family, I, because she is not long for this world um i did check i wanted to see she has a little bit left but she is she's not long for this world <laughs> um it's time she has her own house her own family everything you know um and i might put julia somewhere as well depending on if Jean and um callan are adults they can live together that's fine with me but um let's have a quick little date ask if single no, we already asked that 
Well, that's a flirt. We can come sit together. Finally enjoying life as an elder. Listen, we had to wait until there was family drama added into her relationship as well. Uh, uh, open? Uh, what, what better to find out than your cousin is now dating your ex from high school and is married to her and has kids? <laughs> Suddenly in one night. That's what's happening here, by the way. I am trying to elope with Sophia and immediately adopt a child and then leave. I'm bouncing. I'm out of this household. <laughs> Flirt with your date while flirty? Well, easy. Easy peasy. Ask to be girlfriend. Absolutely. I think now's the time. And then we'll do a little story. We'll tell an engaging story. I have a passionate... This is going so well. <laughs> I would even believe, honestly, soon. You don't have high enough friendship to propose. Okay. Okay. Noted, noted. <laughs> Get to know her a little bit. Relationships in The Sims are really silly. It can really just be like, Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Do you want to have kids and a baby? <laughs> Oh, we gotta have deep conversations. <laughs> Don't ask her to just be friends, actually, please. <laughs> what is it, friendly deep conversation? I don't even know. Hold on a minute, don't go anywhere. Is deep conversation not under deep thoughts? Small talk, maybe? Interests? Hobbies. No. A wild night I <laughs> you wake up with a wife and a child. Not gonna happen for me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I something tells me no. <laughs> um but it would be wild. <laughs> I need their friendship to go up. I also need them to have deep conversation, but that's literally nowhere to be found. So I guess I'm going to have them caress cheeks. <laughs> and then, Cadence, you've got to take care of yourself real quick. We'll come order some food and shit. Actually, no, we'll go to the bathroom and we'll see if we can um, ask her to stay the night. Because we already got a gold date, that's fine. <laughs> you know, I did have 14 girlfriends, but I didn't, there was no chance of me waking up with a child of them one day. I was in middle school. Um, <laughs> I didn't have the power to just adopt a child overnight like that. <laughs> Where'd Sophia go? Girl. Um, oh, if what? <laughs> she left? Brutal. Alright, well, let's go home. <laughs> I'm trying. I am so trying. We'll sleep through the night. We'll invite, um, Sophia over. Actually, can I just bring her with me? Beautiful. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, now we just met tonight, and also uh, just finished like a three-hour date at the top of a skyscraper. Would you like to come home and get married? <laughs> Would you like to move in with me? <laughs> oh, absolutely go woohoo. 
first things first. <laughs> I do remember that. When I pulled up to her house, when I pulled up to her house, <laughs> I immediately was like, "Oh, memories. <laughs> we used to stand here all the time." <laughs> that was so rude of them to place the mailbox in the house like that. I'm not a fan. I got to say. Oh, you know, Cadence, I did kind of imagine you using the purple bedroom, but you can use the pink bedroom. That's fine. It's your house and there's f three bedrooms in it. You know, do whatever you want. <laughs> Alright, we're going to fast forward through this. Beautiful. Cadence, now can you... Oh, you're sleeping? That's fine. You can sleep until 5am. I just... The thing is, I don't want to um, play as you forever because the gay family is still going. <laughs> they are they are still in this world uh, doing things of their own accord right now, and I don't trust that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I know. I thought about it, and I was like, if I want to have that happen, I have to kind of do that now. <laughs> Imagine the fires. Cadence had a fear of fire. I don't know how. She's not part of my household, and I don't think people who are part of your household are supposed to get fears, but she had a fear of fire. <laughs> oh, I imagine the fireplace got lit while we were not there. <laughs> Something tells me it did, honestly. Don't ask to just be friends. Can we get to know her? Um... Express fondness. Discuss if the chicken came first. She has to be, like, good friends first, I guess, to, before she proposes. Tobias is smashing everything. I know I'm going to get there and everything's going to be broken. Something's going to be on fire. Lamanda's going to be running around the house dirty as hell. <laughs> There's going to be 17 stray cats running up and down the hallway. <laughs> Imagine you sleep over at your new girlfriend's house, and in the morning she's like, So, tell me, do you like girls? <laughs> Kaylin's making plasma from the strays, yeah. <laughs> she's bought the vet machine. We can blow a kiss, I guess. We can... Um, caress cheek. Am I am I good enough friends? Oh, I wish the photo thing still worked. Cause I don't want to become friends. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to be friends. Make toast. Oh, like like New Year's toast. I got you. I got you. Their friendship is, like, not going up. Turinga. But they got a sentiment. They enjoy being around each other, which is lovely. Be enticing. Take her to meet the gay family. But then we're not going to be able to get, like, good friendship going. We'll come visit from the gay family to this house once they adopt a kid. Because um, that's the plan, is I'm just going to have them elope, adopt a kid, and then I'm going to go back to the regular family. <laughs> and then we're also going to have a wedding for Ernesto and um, Tobias tonight, probably. Ask to swing with? That might be cute. That might be good for their friendship. Even though they're elders. Blow horns. Here I am. Lenard. 
It's true. I could keep an eye on them. I just feel like we wouldn't be able to get, like, a good conversation because everybody's always interrupting everybody. And then it's like seven sims talking to each other and no one gets anything done. <laughs> I just want them to be a little friendly first. She's very uncomfortable. Why are you very uncomfortable? Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. Girl, go, go piss, girl. No worries, Maddie. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a lovely evening. Hope to see you soon. Girl, are you leaving? Ugh, that's so annoying. Cadence... You've got a couple more days. Let's... Um... Let's leave. We'll come back. We'll make another another round where we come back and, um... Get them to be married. I don't want to do this more. <laughs> I want to go back to the regular family and have that wedding. Um... At least Cadence has her own house now. And a girlfriend. Um... I wonder if they'll, like, move in together now that they're dating canonly. I don't know. Uh, neighborhood stories isn't going to affect her for the moment because I have her as an active household. But that's... That means she can't die, so that's fine. <laughs> Oh, you know what? The other gay family is going to be listed as a played household, too. I have to change that back. That's fine. We'll go back later. Or I'll go back later. I don't know. <laughs> Items were not removed. Don't lie to me like that. Okay. 8 a.m. No plants need tending at the moment. Okay. No fireplace lit. That fire isn't lit. No one's no one's attempted to use the fire toilet. I think we're we're safe for the moment. <laughs> um You work in three hours. That's perfect. You can like write Oh my god, she was writing a book at one point, wasn't she? Yeah, continue writing that. <laughs> um Melody You can harvest these real quick. Oh, and evolve it, I guess. And then check on Lamanda. Clean the shed, actually. Uh, Tobias. Are you... You're only tense about that for two more hours, so you should invite over Ernesto. Actually... Just kidding. Do you work today? No, you work. <laughs> you work in three days. Okay. Kaylin just started her homework. She's dancing. You can uh, do your homework, I guess. Go team, go. Ernesto will be right over. Are we? No, we're not even close to a wolf rage. We're good. We're fine. We got fined. Oh no. We gotta get those signatures. I kind of forgot about that. Alright, let's go hang out with Ernesto, though. We'll brighten his day. We'll, um... We still can't woohoo. We'll compliment his outfit, I guess. We gotta do a lot of charisma stuff with Tobias, because he's gonna need it for his career, and it's such a slow thing to level up. Huh. He's gonna be the most charismatic little wolf boy. Aww. 
I didn't know they greet each other like that. That's cute. Um, tell a joke about werewolves. Ernesto's gonna have to find those funny if we're da if he's dating us. <laughs> if he's marrying into the family. That's a pretty intense joke. Comedy level three. We can have deep conversations. Throw some New Year's confetti. We're just waiting out the... Oh! Oh, it's gone! Can I propose now? Yes! So, werewolf butts, right? <laughs> Do you want to get married? <laughs> Melody's walking on by to go get some food. Kaylin's doing her homework and busy writing. Beautiful. He's on his iPad in the middle of <laughs> in the middle of our proposal. He's. Did he exit out? What happened? <laughs> they didn't do it. Why are you chatting with Lillian? No, 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 no. <laughs> I have better, bigger plans for you. Here on the front porch of your house. Or down there on the front porch stairs <laughs> in front of your house. Propose. Aww. It's really cute because they're both loyal sims. Heck yeah. Steamy exchange. Deeply connected, aww. Um, so, it's Saturday at 10 a.m. <sighs> Do we work tomorrow? Does anyone work tomorrow? No, 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 and she doesn't go to school. Okay, let's have a wedding tomorrow. We'll have a gold wedding. We invite- should we invite Toadie to the wedding? <laughs> Is that just kind of mean? Um... We got Blake and Jasper. We need Susumu. Jean and Callan and Julia. And we'll have it at t mm, noon at. Oh, I didn't put a wedding arch in the, the park that I made. That's unfortunate. Yeah, let's go let's go to for my Shuna Meadows. I feel like this is where I have most of my weddings. And we'll have Melody go in and edit the guest list. To see if we can add any more people. Cadence. Oh, you know what? Santa can come too. Why not? Um Jean Callen. Perfect. Okay, we got everybody. I think. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else we need to invite. You know what? It would be lovely to have Kelly come. But I don't know if I don't even know if um Melody knows Kelly anymore. And honestly, Kelly hasn't ever showed up for any of the like 
invite screens that have showed up, so uh, it might not happen. Awesome. Would you like to... Um... No. Stay the night is what I'm a looking for here. We can sweet talk him. Make some wolf eyes at him. Kaylin, um, you finished reading Handiness 1, if I remember correctly. Let's buy Handiness 2. We'll buy Handiness 3 so I don't have to scroll through it again later, too. By still chatting with Ernesto. Jesus. You're gonna go chat with Lillian. And Lillian is writing, so that's fine, yeah. Oh, we stole that. I was like, when did I get a book? When did that happen? The carrot I got from Santa, that makes sense. <laughs> Can I knit from here? Oh, I can. You guys can chat while you're, you know, parallel playing. That's cute. I love that. That's like my love language. Let's do separate activities in the same room. We don't even have to talk. Just like, I'm like a cat. I just want to be there with you. <laughs> I don't care what if we're doing it together. We just want to be there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these two are so smitten by each other. Um, you know what? Would you all like to come woohoo? Why not, you know? Kaylin's gonna play some Road Rival Alpha. That's fine. Oh, she's also low on vampire energy. You can actually go to sleep. We've learned Ernesto's woohoo interests. Well, I would hope so at this point. <laughs> if we're getting married. What are you two doing? Why do you have, like, drinks? When do you, where did you get martinis from? <laughs> are they even going to woohoo? Did they not? Someone put a stinky coffee. Okay. Good, they are going to woohoo. And we'll ask him to stay the night afterwards, maybe. Uh oh. I believe I cut out, did I? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Mm. No, it says I'm still there. Am I still there? I think so. Okay. Strange. My stream manager just still like, didn't register that I was live for a minute. 
<laughs> All right. We gotta we gotta catch them right after they sleep together because I think that's when they'll like more than likely say like hey do you wanna stay the night you two can woohoo as well I'm gonna be woohoo central up in this house Okay, before you go pee, um, friendly, maybe? Ask to join household is close. Ask to hang out. Mm. No, I don't think it's going to be an option until, like, or later, probably. Um, let's become best friends. <laughs> I guess. And then you can go pee. That's fine with me. Melody earned $30,000 from doing nothing. Great. <laughs> Melody is the richest member of this family by far. Is that Jasper? I don't think so. Wait, is that Blake? No, that's not. Okay. Ooh, Ernesto's doing fitness stuff. We really are meant for each other. Maybe it'd be in romance asked to stay the night. Growl seductively. I don't know. It doesn't want to PSO. Um, let's. Oh, Blake's calling to congratulate us on our engagement. And Ernesto said he doesn't think the llama jokes are getting old. I love it. Lillian finished her book. Heck yeah. Uh, Tobias, you can start punching, I think. The punching bag. Melody. You can come... Knit... Um... Something. I don't know. <laughs> A decoration? I don't think we have many of the penguins. Let's do a classic penguin with a hat. Lillian is going to go... is petting Mochi. Okay, is in the process of petting Mochi. <laughs> That's fine. 
you two can hang out for a moment. Oh wow, they're still chatting. I told you to do the punching bag so long ago. Wow, they're already almost like full friendship and full uh, relationship. That's ridiculous. The Finchwick Fair? No. The Finchwick Chicken Fair? No. No, no, no. We're not. What's Ernesto doing? Why is he going all the way upstairs? Do not tell me he's going to light the fireplace. Uh, Are you kidding me? He's perfect for this family. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why? <laughs> Oh my goodness, Tobias. Come get your man. <laughs> Everybody is wanting to start fires in my house. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter if they're part of the family or not. <laughs> Everybody wants this house to burn down. <laughs> you know, though, we really couldn't depict a better person. Look, he's going to start another fire. He's going to keeps going to go take a poo on the fire toilet, and it's going to start a fire. I can feel it right now. I can see the flames licking up from it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's not cursed. Just a lot. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go get some food after we're done punching the punching bag. Ernesto. <laughs> I am so done with this house. <laughs> I am ready to move. We need to start the next generation lickety split because <laughs> I can't take it. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> There's so many fires and fire hazards in this house. It's ridiculous. All right, Melody, feed the fire, or feed the cow plant, put out the fire. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. We're Hysterical means that we can die. Um, we can't have Tobias die before we have kids. <laughs> Afterwards, he can die from hysteria all he wants. I won't be happy about it, but if that's what he chooses, it's what he chooses. We need to have kids first. We need to keep the generations going. Why would you get out food and then say you're going, Ernesto? That's so rude. I love you anyway, still, but I don't know about that, my guy. <laughs> yeah, especially after all those fires that you started yesterday. I'm starting to second think this already. <laughs> I'm going to go put this one out right now. And then you know what? I also kind of got to use the toilet, so... <laughs> May as well, we're right here. <laughs> it's fire toilet time. It's the slow, dramatic walk that they have to do up to it that's that really does it for me. Because they, they like, know how to walk up platforms, but they, like, can't do it all at once. <laughs> 
the drama building, you know? All right, Tobias, you can, um, I guess, come work on your logic. Melody didn't start a fire. Beautiful. You can start the laundry. Laundry is so... they really got it spot on. It's so annoying in the game, and it's so annoying in real life. I have to do laundry today, actually, and I'm just not... I don't wanna. <laughs> I have to do it after stream. Melody, have you... Knit? you still haven't knitted a third legendary. Um, can you knit something in here? Oh, when did Lillian do that painting? I don't hate that one. Um, you want to come stand here for a minute? Just get confident or inspired real quick. And then, uh, come knit something. Oh! We burned up the chair, I guess. I did not realize that. Knit, um... A small little teal octopus. And then maybe clean the floor around here, because I do realize that it is dirty now. From the last fire that we had here. Jasper, it is seven at night. What are you doing here? You know what? Just so someone still knows to, uh, Jasper once Melody is gone, which will probably happen at some point, Tobias, come get to know Jasper. Oh my god, it's also New Year's. I didn't even realize that. I kind of forgot about that. Actually, don't flash crazy eyes at your uncle. Um... Uh, um, Kaylin, you can wake up now as well. Have a plasma pack. And, um... Melody is knitting. Right, right, right. I love that Kaylin, because she can teleport, whenever I tell her to drink a plasma pack, she's just like, who's the closest family member I can hang out with while I eat my meal? <laughs> she just teleports straight to him. It is really handy. Not laundry breaking again. Um, Kaylin, <laughs> you can, I guess, Jasper can, and you can be, um, Oh, what are you doing? Where'd you go? You're watching TV from over there? I know you've got vampire powers, but that... 
that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I don't know about that, Kaylin. I, I guess if you think you're watching it, you think you're watching it. <laughs> oh shit, we gotta put up decorations. I didn't even think about that. That looks nice. Melody completed her knitting. I guess let's all watch New Year's Eve TV. Oh, Lillian, you can go to the bathroom first. You don't have to watch TV until you pee yourself. That's fine. You can get some you can get some food and take care of yourself. And Tobias and Caitlin are watching it from behind the TV. Let's <laughs> fast forward a couple hours, honestly. I just want to get to the wedding. <laughs> Countdown will be available past 11. You guys can chat with each other while you're watching TV. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Caleb Vitor is here. Oh, big fire. <laughs> mm, you should drink another plasma pack. And we'll fast forward until 11. So we can watch the New Year's countdown. <laughs> watch countdown to midnight. Watch the countdown to midnight. Watch the countdown to midnight. And watch the countdown to midnight. What do you guys mean you can't reach it? Excuse me? She's the only one who's doing it. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to do it down here maybe. In Tobias's room, for whatever reason. Shushubi. Yeah, Shushubi. I guess. Shushubi. 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 Excuse me, Melody. Did she sabotage it even though I told her to watch it? Excuse me, did you just ruin it for the whole family? Everybody watch it, no. <laughs> Poor Tobias doesn't even know where to stand, it's his room. <laughs> Here we go. Midnight. Oh my god. Uh oh. Laman has been <laughs> unhappy due to inadequate care. Okay, Melody, would you like to uh, come take care of Lamanda in that case? Lillian, it's midnight. You can go to bed. I don't care that you're not tired. Go to bed. 
Um, Tobias, you gotta go to the bathroom. You have the classic combination, take a feral poo, take a wild shower. And Kaylin, you also gotta take a shower. And then you can do laundry. Go team! Oh, Vlad is here. Hi, Vlad. You should continue doing laundry, Kaylin. Did you just break the shower oh that's fine um tobias you can come work on your logic skill now because you have a, a wedding tomorrow so i don't know what you really wanted to be doing <laughs> a wedding today actually wedding in 12 hours Oh, Melody, you called over Lamanda, and then you probably just left. <laughs> no, come take care of Lamanda. Please. Clean her. Feed her. Socialize with her. Show her a dance move. And then you can come take care of your own needs. Kaylin, when you're done, you can read your handiness book. Is this actually increasing her handiness? It is not. Does she have to read the, the first one still? Let's find out. There's got to be a bookshelf somewhere on this floor. There's not. Wow. I bet you I still have to read Handiness 1. To get Handiness skill. What just broke? Nobody's using anything right now. I don't understand. But that is making her handiness go up, which is good. Successful, successful, pretty good, and awesome, awesome. Everybody had an alright New Year's. Lamanda's feeling better. Good. Then we can come eat. We can even fast forward a little bit, probably. Kaylin can have a plasma pack. 
and then she can keep reading the book. Oh my god, the stray cat noises. <laughs> Constant. Unending. As it should be. Oh! Kaylin completed her aspiration. Or she did some of it, I guess. <sighs> Purchase the tamed thirst power. Create three plasma packs from fish or frogs. Okay. Um, actually, we have both of those that we can do from. Hold on a minute. Frog, frog. I am so sorry, poor little frogs. Um, but I imagine that from the inventory I can probably do this. Create plasma pack. Create plasma pack. Create plasma pack. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> Melody, you're gonna go take a shower? That's fine. What are these? Snow. Four eleven a.m. You're resuming your style column. That's fine, I guess. Oh, you know, we didn't go wind up going to work with Lillian. I guess she kind of took a holiday. Oh, not the dryer break or the washer breaking. Melody, you can stop taking your bath and go to the bathroom real quick before Kaylin comes back in. Tobias is just about to have a werewolf rage, so we should maybe make him do that real quick. Because I don't want it to happen at our wedding. <laughs> and you can chat with Lillian. Maybe. You can chat- no, you can chat with Melody. Because we need some social- <laughs> Tobias, you can come smash the microwave because you couldn't reach the TV. Okay, good. That put us into a werewolf rage. We'll have Kaylin fix this real quick. And now that Lillian's out of the shower, she's free to, um, have conversations with her mom. And Lillian is going to, um, paint, I guess. I don't want to deal with her. <laughs> she could do a playful painting. And you... <sighs> Try to regain control, please. You have a wedding in six hours. <laughs> you can like deep thoughts, Melody, that's fine. Okay, thank god we regained control. You can have a supportive dynamic, I love that. Oh, 
You guys can hug real quick. Brighten her day. Enthused about new albums. It's spring! Oh, that's perfect timing! We're gonna have a nice spring wedding. Alright, Melody, you can come knit. Um, another... little pink bear this time. Tobias... You can come work on your logic skill. You can search for the truth. Ooh. And you... Can you upgrade things yet? You're level 2 handiness. Can you upgrade like a sink or something? No. Oh, you know what though? We don't have any of the parts. That's probably why. You can come do laundry though. That works for me. We're stuck in this laundry cycle. It feels like I'm doing laundry constantly. Oh, way oh. Tobias, don't die on your wedding day, please. Jog here. Go back inside real quick. Please. No, don't get stung. Go inside. Oh my god. No, if he dies to a meteor right now, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Go inside. Go inside now. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, not death by meteorite, no, oh my god. No, 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 no. Melody, Melody, no, 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 no. Get here. Go here now. No. <laughs> Don't mop the floor. Go here. What? <laughs> this can't be happening. Melody, can you, can you please, where's death? Death? No. No, no, no. We have the, me can we get the meteorite as a family heirloom? <laughs> please, I need to plead with him. Kaylin didn't care. She's gonna go chat with Lillian. <laughs> Maybe it's because she knows we're gonna save him. Grim? Grim. Grim. <laughs> Please. Grim. <laughs> Tobias got hit by a meteor. <laughs> I tried to have him go inside, and he instead dilly-dallied and then got stung by bees, and he got hit by a meteor. <laughs> and now he's dead. Um, but Grim is a little glitched out, and I don't know if we'll be able to plead with him. <laughs> I have a backup plan. 
if he does die, if Tobias does permanently die, we can bring him back. We have Ambrosia, but I, we have Death Flowers. We have the little Grim Reaper plushie. I think I think we can convince Grim. I'm pretty sure, but. <laughs> You know? I'm... <laughs> Grim. Grim. Melody's been fine. Now is not the time. Neighborhood action plans. <laughs> I am in the middle of something. <laughs> Death, please. Death. Death, please. Can you get on with it? Lillian hasn't noticed. Kaylin came out here, looked at the dead body, and said, eh, whatever. <laughs> and now she's writing jokes. <laughs> Tobias dead on the ground outside. <laughs> I can't with this family. To Death, can you get your ass to work, please? <laughs> what are you doing? Can I reset? I can add him to family? <gasps> What do you think happens if I reset him while he's on the way to kill Tobias? Does he still come kill Tobias? Is he thinking about drums? You have more important things to be thinking about right now, my guy. I'm wondering if he just, like, can't get there or something. What do you mean you're happy... Melody. No, you're not. Don't even talk like that. <laughs> She's feeling inspired. <laughs> Death, can you get on with it? <laughs> Serves you fucking right, dude. I get it. Struck by a meteor. <laughs> struck by a meteor, not even lightning. Melody got struck by lightning once, and she did not even care. It was not even... <laughs> Tobias is here dead on the ground. Everybody's walking right on by him. <laughs> Nobody cares anymore. Oh, oh, Grim's on his way. Can I plead with the Grim Reaper now, please? Give Death Flower. Give Death Flower. Yes, yes. This is what we grew so many for. <laughs> Do not take my heir before his wedding. <laughs> Please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I've, I've never had this happen before, but I am so glad that we avoided the end of a legacy. Because <laughs> what, what would we just do? Kalen's the heir now? <laughs> no, we can't do that. Oh, instead of chatting with Kaylin, can you feed the cow plant? We don't need to have anybody else die on lot right now. <laughs> can you hurry up with this, though? He's got a wedding in an hour. <laughs> oh, thank God. Jennifer's calling to chat. Yeah, you can chat with Jennifer. That's fine. You got something to talk about for sure. <laughs> Grim, um, while you're here, actually. <laughs> what, him him getting hit by the meteor? <laughs> oh, boom. Yeah, I know we've got a wedding in an hour. Don't even talk to me about it. <laughs> here, I thought Mochi was going to die and we were going to have everybody sad about that. No, <laughs> somebody died, but... Wasn't Mochi. Grim's like, what the fuck's up with all these cats in this house? Please, introduce yourself to him. And then we have to give him a gift, actually. I want to give him the little mini Grim Reaper that I've knitted. <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody to die to, for this to happen. 
Come on, we only have a half hour. Please, move quick. We've learned he's lazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can we give him a gift? Compliments, affection, give gift, friendly gift. Little Grim Classic. Perfect. He's gonna love it. <laughs> I can feel it. Hey, I knitted this of you? I'm mass producing them. Thank you for not taking my son. <laughs> oh, and now we're yelling at him? Okay, maybe we should... And then we're gonna go light the fireplace? Oh, girl. <laughs> oh. Heard about the passing of someone special to you. He's fine. Don't even worry about it, Jennifer. You're gonna come see him in like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, do you think death is still gonna be here when we get back from the wedding? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I guess time to get married. <laughs> Got hit by a, a meteor three hours ago. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'm good to go. Let's have the the bangingest wedding <laughs> with the whole family. Tobias died. Like, full-on died. <laughs> that's so... That's so The Sims of The Sims. Okay, let's have our wedding. Needs a cake and a wedding arch. Well, we've got a wedding arch. That is, that is good. We can do that. Get... Married to Ernesto Madison. Let's do it. And everybody else can come sit in a chair here real quick. It's going to take Kaylin like two seconds to get here and everybody else five minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at everybody's outfits. Everybody's going to be all wedding dressed. Aw. I love Lillian's pantsuit. Melody's wearing her wedding dress. <laughs> beautiful um everybody else is pretty nicely dressed who's this oh our mixologist i hired a mixologist i don't remember doing that oh santa's here i forgot to invite i invited him <laughs> there's still fireworks going off from the last wedding that we had here <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Who's this? Is that Blake? No, that's Gene. <laughs> He's got a top hat on. This is actually a pretty successful wedding for the fact that I was dead 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Not even 20 minutes ago. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot. Melody, please go here right now and take a picture. Oh, thank God I remembered. Beautiful. Okay, you can sit back down. That's fine. 
Actually, yeah, he can sit back down. Oh, Kaylin's vampire energy is low. So she's going to take a, what is it, a deep meditation or something? A dark meditation. Oh, you know what? Oh my god. She's in the sun right now. <laughs> um, come take a nap on this couch right now. Please, Kaylin. I <laughs> very nearly just killed Kaylin. Um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how close that was. No, you should actually not observe this guy right now, Tobias. I'm glad you got married. Um, you should come pee and eat and wash your hands. Melody, you should come cook a cake for everybody. Can we? Is there a stove? There's a stove here. And we're not on a cursed lot. We can probably make a cake. It's fine. And Lillian, you can also go to the bathroom. Everybody else, I don't care what you do. You're not uh, my sim, so... <laughs> go team. I can't believe that not only did Tobias die this stream, I nearly killed Kaylin. <laughs> Incredible. Um, truly. Uh, Ernesto's still left <laughs> at the at the altar here. Alright, family. Move inside, please. Gallon's been here. We have to get permission to drink from two different sims, that's right. So once we're done napping, we'll try to drink from someone of our family members. Uh, and I think we're probably just going to have um, people eat the cake, and then honestly, I may be done. <laughs> this has been a stressful stream. <laughs> we'll call it a wedding, we'll move on. <laughs> Hey, Callan, would you like... Why is she sad? From witnessing the death of a loved one. Girl, you weren't sad when it happened. You're sad now? When it's unhappened? <laughs> when it has decidedly made itself not happen? <laughs> Had a wedding cake topper... Um, cut wedding cake. Oh, he did not like that, huh? Uh, Keep those fangs away from me. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Susumu, how about you? You seem like a chill guy. Oh, I guess I don't know you. Drink plasma. Ask permission, maybe? Who's this? Oh, that's Julia. That did not look like Julia. She looks good. Alright. That is enough of that, honestly. Can I not grab that? Okay, that's fine, yeah. We will end the wedding. Wedding success. Grab the cake. Let's go home. Good job, everybody. 
<laughs> um, and we'll go to Willow Creek. We'll bring Ernesto and Melody and Kaylin and Lillian, <laughs> all the family who live here with us. Um, and then we'll ask Ernesto if he wants to move in with us as well. And then I'll probably call it a stream here. I still got to do my laundry and have dinner, honestly. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't really eaten much today. Me too. <laughs> I'm I'm so glad Melody prepared for this exact instance. <laughs> I don't think we'll use the death flower every time. That kind of feels like cheating. But for the heir, for the heir on the day of his wedding, <laughs> if ever there was a time, <laughs> you know. Oh my god. We would have for Kaylin too if she had burned to a crisp right there at the wedding. Honestly, no no deaths at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I gotta be a little more careful I think <laughs> um, so let's see here real quick Tobias can you what was that friendly ask to join household uh, <laughs> Perfect. He's currently not in the world. We're taking his $20,000. <laughs> um, can I just give $300,000 to the other side here? Yeah, I just want less money. We'll gift that $30,000 to charity. Um, and let's see how old Ernesto is. Oh, he's halfway through being a young adult already. Wow. Tobias is... Oh, he's only, he's only like 13 days older than Tobias. That's not bad. Um, and he has what skills? Fitness, charisma, gardening, logic, painting, and video gaming. I love it. Um, but I think that's where I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm going to save and quit. <laughs> I don't want any more live mode. I don't want more, for more fires. I don't want any meteors. I don't want Caitlyn to burn to death. I don't want anything. <laughs> we'll get kids next time. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning, I guess. Because um, that will be the next stream. Because I have, I have Japanese lessons again tomorrow. Um, so there won't be an evening stream tomorrow. But there will be the morning stream, as usual. Um for now <laughs> if you're still here hanging lurking chatting or vibing thank you so much um it's been a little bit of a wild last half hour <laughs> i feel like it was a mostly calm stream for the most part today and then just that it went off the rails <laughs> um for now once it finishes thank y'all um that's gonna do it for me this evening so thank y'all for hanging thank y'all for chatting i hope you have a lovely lovely rest of the evening um like i said the next time will be tomorrow 10 a.m till then i hope you have a lovely evening a lovely morning and uh until the next time guys bye